have an extra special 1971 Chevrolet Monte Carlo for us today. This thing has 45,000 or 46,000 actual miles. It was bought new in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, and then it was parked in 1973 up until 2014 when the second owner bought it. Uh, first of all, this is almost all original paint, original white vinyl top, original interior, and I'm going to say it's in excellent shape. This is Survivor, what we're looking at here. The second owner bought it. He bought a TriStar crate engine, dyno tuned at like 480 horsepower and very similar torque. Uh, it's got a built turbo 350 and it's got a built 410 posi so this thing's a hot rod but looking at it it's a sweetheart survivor car uh, i got a lot of good things to tell you about it look at the colors the silt nevada silver with the blue and the white really sharp they're saying it's one of one can't tell for certain but it's certainly a, a rare color and an attractive color combination you can go to volocars.com to read the information take your time and study all the pictures top to bottom and that's where you'll find a price tag on this car and every car we have for sale along with a monthly finance option as well to make it real easy that's at volocars.com make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and click on that bell icon that way you're notified when these new videos are posted for right now join me let's go for a spin Okay, so underneath the car has zero rotten metal. Yes, you're going to see some of the surface rust. That doesn't mean anything. It's original floors, braces, rockers, the lower quarters, all rock solid original metal. The front end looks like it's all been rebuilt. All the steering, suspension uh, looks like it's been redone. In back, it has new springs, shocks, upper control arm bushings were replaced. Uh, this does have disc brakes in front, calipers, hoses, that all looks clean. Uh, E-brake assembly uh, is all hooked up. Of course, you had to put a performance exhaust. It's a Flowmaster exhaust system with the crossover pipe, nice turn down tips in the back. And we do have a lot of paperwork for what I was holding in my hand for the exhaust and the motor and all that good stuff. Uh, so when you look up at the motor, it has a uh, seven-quart anodized Moroso oil pan. The TriStar engine builders actually put a tag with their serial number right on the side of the block. It matches the tag or the number on the paperwork, so they can look it up. They'll verify uh, what they did to the motor, and that it is one of their motors. Transmission, it's a performance rebuild. It's the original VIN number matching Turbo 350 that belongs to this car. Uh, it did have a rebuild. It has a Hughes torque converter, a 2200 stall. The original drive shaft still has the assembly line uh, or factory paint markings on it. Now the 12 bolt rear end, the original rear end, uh, was completely rebuilt by uh, a guy who specializes in that. He bead blasted it, painted it black, uh, and it was all rebuilt. The seals, the bearings, uh, has a Yukon Posi unit, Yukon heavy duty axles, and a Richmond 410 gear. So this thing's really going to kick it in the butt at the stoplight. So underneath, again, rock solid, clean, a lot of nice upgrades. The body. Uh, and I, I feel real good about it because there's an expert uh, in the area that looked at this body and paint. And uh, so you have to take my word for it. Uh, you take his word for it. Uh, excellent body. This thing is straight. I'm looking across the trunk, straight. Gaps are right on the money. Everything fits beautifully. No damage, no issues at all with the body. You look down the side, it is straight. There's no rust all along the bottoms, way down here, all clean, original metal, doors shut like a new car, all clean, no rust, all fits very nicely, no damage, no issues, the hit, hood sits nice, all lines up real good here, really clean body. Monte Carlo's got that long hood. <clears throat> The original color, Code 13, Nevada Silver. Yeah, again, this all lines up beautifully. Square, flush, straight. Uh, looks really good. I think it had a couple minor little, 
you know, door dents, we must have had our dent guy take them out because I don't see any. It's really straight. So clean, clean, original body. You know how we know it's original body? Because it's mostly original paint on this car. So yeah, it has a little patina. There's a little stain or a little discoloring or maybe where they buffed it a little too hard. But it is certainly well cared for. It's very shiny. I think considering it's original, it shows really, really well. It must have buffed it a little hard here, and then someone came back and touched it up a little bit. Right here on the trunk, it's actually through the paint. Something must have laid on here, a couple light scratches. I know this end cap was repainted. Uh, so very, very minor touch-up, but mostly original paint. And again, it shows really well for being original. Uh, the chrome is all shiny, straight, all the trim, you know, all the little pieces, all real nice. This corner has been brush touched. The original white vinyl top, and it's in great shape. You know, it's white, and it's, uh, what, 51 years old, 52 years old now, and it looks that great. Um, <clears throat> there's no rust bumps underneath it. All the trim is real nice. It has a remote mirror. It's an option. It's like pristine. All the glass is crystal clear, and it's all original. There's a tiny rock chip right here in the corner. That's the original windshield. There's no other rock chips. There's no wiper marks. I rolled up the windows on the other side, and they fit like brand new. That door window, you could roll up literally with your pinky and your thumb. It rolled so easily. So are all signs of a low-mile car. <clears throat> up front here, it uh, has one original headlight. This one's been changed. The bumper, the grill, the emblems, all this is in beautiful shape. All the stainless trim is shiny and straight, except this one right here is dented. And I think I know what happened. This piece of trim slid down, and someone closed the door on it is what happened. So that's easily replaceable. But, yeah, look how nice these windows line up. They're crystal clear. Even with the windows up, it shuts like a brand new car. Uh, so they've added the rally wheels to it. They're 15 inch rally wheels in fantastic shape. BF Goodrich tires. Uh, so there's the outside. Can't wait to show you the inside and that motor. Oh, I'm going to geek out here in a minute because they've got original trunk spatter in here, and I love that. Under the trunk lid, this is the original paint. Look at how smooth and glossy. Look at these original 52-year-old paper decals. They're still in great shape. The original jam is real nice and slick. The seams with the pinch welds, the part number. But i got to show you something else. See that line right there? That's original. That told the assembly line worker that's where they put the rubber. They started up here on top, and then they worked their way around. So that line told them where to put the rubber. Original weather strip. So the spatter paint in here, like I said, is all original. It's not been spray canned. This is what it left the factory with, and it's in really excellent shape. This shows there's no cuts, no splices, no quarter panels put on. Now, the original mat's a little bit brittle. It's kind of stuck to the floor. Um, but I, I think it's cool. It's all solid. Of course, they added a fire extinguisher. The door jams are really nice and clean. The weather strips are real nice. The interior is original, and it, it practically looks brand new. Look at that door panel, the armrest, the window cranks. Mint condition. You know, Monte Carlo, it has a little uh, map pocket down there in the carpet. Now, looking at the dash, of course, this tachometer is added, but the whole instrument panel, these, these vents, the knobs, the lenses, the gauges, the dash pad, all mint. The heater control panel, look how nice that is. Look at the original radio. Cigarette lighter hasn't been used. This is mint condition. Same thing, the vent over here. The light works in the glove box. The owner's manual is still up there. Shuts nicely. Kick panel is excellent. The knobs. Carpet down on the floor is excellent. Has the original rubber mats. 
steering wheel is mint shape. The seats, I'm sitting on them. They feel like new. They're still nice and firm. Very plush, comfortable cloth. Looks like new. The headrest looks like new. Um, it's all in really great shape. The back seat looks like it's hardly ever been sat in. The armrests, the side panels, all mint. The rear shelf, the trim. And then look at how nice that headliner. There's no wrinkles, there's no mouse holes, the dome light works. Visors, the mirror are all mint. Complete set of seat belts in excellent shape, even the shoulder belts. And really quick, I want to talk about the paperwork. This is the dyno sheet. It's TriStar Engines. Uh, that's their dyno sheet. We've got the original build sheet, sold new at Garfield Chevrolet. And then we have the receipts here for the performance work that was done, including the engine specs. And then there's some original like sales brochures for Monte Carlos. Uh, but all that good paperwork goes with the car. So again, that motor is fresh. It's got 400 miles on the drivetrain since this was built. So that's a 383 stroker motor, uh, something like 480 horsepower. It does have polished aluminum heads. Got these nice uh, valve covers. It's, it has TriStar etched right into it. Edelbrock intake, a quick fuel dual feed carb with the nice fuel lines. Uh, an MSD HEI ignition system. It's got a set of hooker coated headers. The engine bay is nice and clean. Now this is this is a hot rod. It doesn't have the heater cores disconnected. That would be easy to uh, remedy if you wanted to have the heat. Uh, no power steering. Uh, we do have an Edelbrock aluminum water pump and the radiator has been recorded, so it does run cool. Looks like the steering box the coupler has been replaced. Does have power uh, disc brakes. Uh, like I said, the engine compartment's nice and clean. The original rubber flaps with the staples, uh, the fan shroud, that long fan shroud on the Monte Carlo. Uh, k and filter on top. And then look under the hood. Nice, clean, original. Baby, you ask why did they change the motor? Well, this is why. Sounds like an indie race car. What a sweetheart of a car. You get the best of both worlds. The sweetheart, original, clean body. This interior is crazy nice. And yeah, it's got some muscle. Not even gonna tromp on it with this wet pavement. All it's gonna do is spin them. I may all goose it a little. Snappy. So we have a very special Monte Carlo here. First thing that grabbed my attention were the colors. It's just a pretty car. It sits nice. You can just tell it's just a clean, straight car. Then when I found out about the miles, that's when I started becoming hooked. Like, I need this car. I was sitting inside here starting to write my description, and I'm looking around. It's, it's brand new in there, and it's original. And then I found out what was done to the driveline. Uh, this thing's really ready to rock and roll. Perfect car for going to the cruise night. You're going to want to run around town. You're not going to go on any long road trips uh, with a 410 gear in it. Uh, but this thing should really be some fun. Go to volocars.com. You can talk to the salesman about your questions. They can help get it delivered. They can help get it financed. You go to volocars.com. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.